The Animals and Society Institute, University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, Summer Institute for Human Animal Studies is a program whereby we bring in 20 to 30 doctoral students and early career scholars in human animal studies to work on their dissertations, their books, their book chapters, or their journal articles with the support of each other, with the support of our two host scholars, and the support of a group of guest speakers that come in throughout the week to give presentations or participate in the ongoing conversations. So a big goal of the institute is interdisciplinary discussion. And so we always assign um, uh, the commenter to come from a different discipline as the presenter. We uh, bring in guest speakers who specifically come from a variety of disciplines so that there could be some overlap with some of the participants and then some um, not overlap with others so that there could be a wider conversation that uh, grows about how art and let's say veterinary medicine might speak to each other or might utilize each other or how um, qualitative social science might engage with um, Victorian literature studies. Uh, we also tend to have a couple of real animal activities so that the participants can actually interact with non-human animals and also observe firsthand some different facets of the human-animal relationship that they might not be exposed to. There are many, many reasons why I want to be here. I think uh, it's a combination of wanting to ensure quality control in my own work. I'm getting I'm a PhD candidate in youth ecology, so when I've been reading animal studies, it's been things that I've selected and um, conversations that I'm choosing to enter. And so part of it was really like, am I on the right track? Is my work rigorous enough in the field of animal studies? So that was, that was in the back of my mind mind at least I think something I was concerned about and I think that's an important thing to think about in interdisciplinary work in general whenever you're incorporating um, methodology and work from other fields I think it's important to be rigorous about it so that was one reason another reason was I felt a little bit isolated in my discipline I have very supportive mentors and peers but I have a faculty member who kept telling me I hadn't found my people yet um, and so I guess it came when I was looking for my people. Yeah. As much as I love sort of being up in the clouds and very abstract, I also um, I want to think about the ways that this kind of work, um, this kind of humanities work translates into real world practice. So how, how can I reach my students and change their attitudes toward animals? How can I um, get them to reflect on the place that animals occupy in their own lives? Um, and their own ethical relations to animals and um, yeah and just sort of thinking through how we can keep these kinds of conversations going both among us and um, with our own students as well so with a new hopefully a new generation of animal studies scholars. I really love in particular that people are studying something they really care about and people are, are engaged in work that they're passionate about and I've really enjoyed just reading what other people are, are, are seriously interested in because uh, I know uh, some academics sometimes just do work in a very instrumental way to get your paper published and check off the boxes and then you have these papers that they're not invested in in any way and I, and I like this idea that everyone here is very invested in their work um, and I am too in my own abstract and theoretical way and I've just enjoyed that, that everyone is very honest. There have been some tensions because of that because these are heated topics sometimes around animal death, suffering, human impacts on animal lives that are very hard to deal with sometimes. Uh, but I feel we've productively tackled some of those questions uh, head on and in a way that is, that gives me hope actually. I think one beautiful thing about the week has been, um, as it's gone on, people have been allowing their affect, their emotions to come through more and more. And I think that for people that are in the field of animal studies, for most of us, there's probably a big well of, um, of care and of grief um, around the subject that often, perhaps in our own institutions or in the academic context, isn't really supposed to be part of 
what we're doing, you know, part of what we're talking about. But I feel like there's really a space that was made here to include that and actually to point the, to that as important, like almost a performance of what we're sharing. So that's been, I've been very grateful for that. And it's been really hard. Well, it's been, it's been a thrill for me to meet all those people and to have um, this kind of uh, like conference meeting for a whole week, sleeping together, eating together, um, speaking about things that may sound a little radical even in my field and even in Israel um, and finding out my ideas kind of can really be accepted around the globe, maybe. And Israel is like, I'm considered as a radical in my own department and like a stepdaughter, but uh, I'm thinking that I, I found my family too. Uh, I love um, organizing and participating in this institute because for me it's a wonderful chance to see not all these, not just all of these scholars who are working on different facets of the human-animal relationship get together, but it's also a chance for them to talk about how they're going to make their work applicable to real animals with the result that whether they're doing um, ecology or sociology or even um, literature studies, that there's some positive impact down the road for real animals. At the end of our first uh, institute, um, I'm going to say that it was an unqualified success. Um, I saw so many connections being made between the participants. The participants overwhelmingly um, um, shared how much um, uh, the insight of the other participants has helped shape their work and the future direction that their work is going to go in. Um, so it's been a really an, uh, amazing success and I can't wait for the next year.